Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen's What You Want Wednesday. Today on What You Want Wednesday, a recipe request from the user Texas Lobo. And they want me to do some deep fried steaks. So if you're a vegetarian, turn off now because we're about to go carnivorous. What you, what you want, what you, what you want. So guys, the first thing that we're going to have to do is get our steak ready. Now, I've got a steak schnitzel, a beef schnitzel here. I've got my butcher to do that for me. But you can just go to the, the meat section in your supermarket and get like a rump or a cube steak or something like that and just hammer it out yourself. The butcher's done it for me, okay? But all you have to do is put some cling film down on the bottom, over the top, give it a good hammer and thin it out. Not too thin because we still want that steak to be nice and juicy, but thin enough. Okay, you don't want it too thick either. So about that size as you can see there. Okay, so let's get seasoning. Now guys, I don't season my flour because we will be coating this in flour and then deep frying it obviously, but I don't season the flour. I want to season the steak first. And there are a few different seasonings you can put on. It's up to you, but I'm just going to show you a few that really work for me. So first of all, we've got some Italian seasoning. We're just going to straight over the top there like that. I've got some garlic salt, some cayenne pepper, and some paprika. The paprika just gives it a nice little smoky flavor. And of course, some pepper and some salt. And just rub it in with your fingers there. Just get it all in. Make sure you rub it in well so it doesn't fall off when we turn it over. So let's turn these bad boys over and we will repeat the same seasoning process. So guys, what you want to do is put this in the refrigerator for at least half an hour to an hour just to let those seasonings marinate with that beautiful steak. So about half an hour to an hour and this will be ready to fry off. So guys, after you take the steak out of the fridge, what I want you to do is get some plain flour just onto a plate and then get your steaks, okay, and just toss that steak in the flour, okay, it'll just stick right to it. Now, of course, guys, we're going to be deep frying these steaks. Now, I've said before, if you're not confident with deep frying in oil, what you can do is just shallow fry them. And what I mean by that is just put a little bit of oil in the pan and then fry them off each side like that. You won't get the same effect as we're going to have, but it will still be really, really tasty. So if you're not confident with cooking with oil, that's your option. Now, so we're just going to pop our steak straight in and always go away from you. Okay, just drop it straight in there like that and look at that bad boy fry off. Now guys, for me, I fry these about a minute and a half each side, okay? So a minute and a half, turn it over and you'll be done. So there you have it guys, deep fried steak. It is absolutely beautiful. Just have a look at those golden nuggets of that crispy flour on the outside. You can see the seasoning running through there. Let's give this a try. Look at that, so tender. Mm. Oh man. Every single mouthful is like a party going on in your mouth. There is so much, so much flavor there. If you haven't deep fried steak before guys, whew, you haven't lived, you're missing out. As always, the ingredients are below. Please give this a go. It is absolutely awesome. You guys take care and I'll see you this Friday for Fast Food Friday.